Hi, today is the 8th of October, and our meditation on grace is based on Romans chapter 14, verses 12 and 13. So then each of us will give an account of our, ourselves to God. Therefore, let us stop passing judgment on one another. Instead, make up your mind not to put any stumbling block or obstacle in the way of a brother or sister. So the word for today here is stumbling block, scandalon. So Paul is talking again to these Christians in Rome, to exhorting them to, be, to behave in a Christian way. He's talking to stronger ones here, to, to those who think that they are strong. So they, they would behave in such a way that their brother and their sister would not uh, fall because of their behavior. It's all to do with understanding uh, God's grace and God's love for us. The same grace that God has for you is the one he has for me. And it is the same love. And God is very patient with us. So Paul is asking you, the Holy Spirit is asking you to, to behave in such a way that you're not going to be a stumbling block for your brother and sister. And he's, he's got a, a similar exhortation in 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. Be careful, however, that the exercise of your rights, of your liberty, does not become a stumbling block to the weak. And that's the scandal on again. Uh, I, I, I'm going to tell a story again. You know, uh, my messages are, are in French and uh, in Portuguese as well. And uh, I got a message from a person saying, could you remove the, the bottle of Coca-Cola from your, your office? It wasn't Coca-Cola because I don't drink Coca-Cola. Can you remove it? Because I would like to send my message to my pastor. And my pastor thinks that Christians shouldn't drink Coca-Cola. And if he sees the bottle of Coke behind you, he would think that you're not a proper pastor, that you're not even a Christian. So I removed it, and it is on the other side of my office. So we wouldn't appear in the, in the, in the, in the meditation. I've got this liberty to believe that drinking this or that is not a problem. That eating this and, uh, and that meat is not a problem because the kingdom of God is not what you eat or what you drink. Paul is going to say that actually in this chapter of Romans, Romans 14, I think. Um, but I can use the freedom that God has given me to not to be a stumbling block to my brother and sister. And that's out of love. As I was saying the other day, when I, or I don't know if I said that in my English meditation, but when I was a missionary in another country, uh, we were told, uh, our mission told us that where you, we were living in, in that town, we should stop eating uh, anything that came from, from, uh, from a pig. So we're not allowed to eat pork. And Paul has got an exhortation uh, uh, that will help us to understand that. When in 1 Corinthians as, uh, Corinthians as well, chapter 10, verse 32. Do not cause any, anyone a stumb to stumble. So the same scandal on the word here. Whether Jews, Greek, or the church of God. So he included... The Church of God, when he was talking about the, those who were not Jews, and everyone else, everyone that is different from you. So it should not be a stumbling block for anyone, not just for people in the, the family of Christ, but also those of the outsiders as well. And, and as, as he said in chapter 8 of the, the same book of, to the Corinthians church, he said that um, I should not use my liberty. So I've got the liberty to do what I do because I have understood that the kingdom of God has nothing to do with what you wear or with what you eat or drink. But for 
out of love, I decide not to be a stumbling block to my to the other. And it's not always uh, within the church of God, as it says here. And it's good that he's telling us that the church belongs to God and not to us. It is God's church. That would, uh, should help us to, uh, to be more careful. Because it's not my church. It's God's church. God's people. So this exhortation is, is good for my my you know, for my, the life I have within the church, but also in my professional life, in my life at school, in my life at university, in my life everywhere. Because what, we, what Paul wants to see in that church and, and what the Holy Spirit wants to see in our lives is that we are going to be a channel of God's grace to the world and to and to the, the brother and the sister. God will bless the world through me, through you, through us. So sometimes the God will ask, tell us to slow down, maybe. Because we wanted to run, maybe like Paul. Have you seen the difference between Paul and Peter? How fast Peter, Paul went from his religion to the gospel? And it took uh, many years for Peter to, to behave like a disciple of Christ and forget that uh, uh, the way, he, he, his religious way, had nothing to do sometimes with the kingdom of God. Because we tend to think that our religion is under the kingdom of God is the same thing. But Paul is asking these people to slow down a bit and to walk with those who cannot run. God bless you.